Morning, here we are. It's attack the day. First things first, I always go straight in the gym, just get it done. So I feel fresh for the day. It's something I've done for years, but I think at the moment with lockdown and everything like that, it's a massive part of my day, and especially for my mindset, just helps me out so much because I think you can quite easily get stuck. And once you stop training and you don't get keep going, you just don't want to do it then. So let's get it. Workout done, time to get shower change, let's get to the office. So we're doing a lockdown uh, day in the life today with both me and Ross. I've just started my morning off dropping Ruben at nursery. You got daddy's chocolate outfit on. See you soon. Office is very depleted at the minute. I think there's only four or five heads of departments in. Everybody else is working from home. Today we've got um, an e-com shoot that we're going to go and visit. Obviously at the moment it's quite tough doing it. Everyone's got to have the masks on as socially distanced as possible, but um, it's still going ahead. I'm going to fly by um, my new house now. At 7 p.m. tonight we launch Sustainable Basic, so really excited. Our first sustainable range. Um, obviously all made out of sustainable fabrics, um, and that launches at 7 o'clock. So busy day ahead. I bought this house in September 2019. Started not, we, we completely demolished the house in January 20. It's now Feb 21. Eight weeks till the house completes, 12 weeks till the baby's here. It's a bit tight. We've arrived at the office. Obviously, for the majority of COVID, the office was shut, but at the moment, we've kind of left it up to the staff. Obviously, it's completely up to them if they want to work from home. And to be fair, it's been working absolutely amazing. Keep it open for some members of staff that need to use certain things, but we've put in all the protection that's needed with um, the sanitizing stations, masks, we've got a gun to check temperatures. So, go in the office and start the day. Initially, we had to shut uh, London first. We shut down in December. Traffic Centre was shut down, I think, from the 1st of Jan. So we lost access to both stores for the foreseeable. However, we've adapted quite well as a business like we did the first time. We launched Active Wear at the end of Jan, and that was phenomenal for us. It's something that we've been working on for the last 12 months. We launched it initially last year. I think that the focus this year is to have bi-monthly drops for it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. There'll be new colourways landing in, in April but the first collection sold really really well we had a kids relaunch and again that's another another one that our customers are asking for a lot more regularly going to try and take advantage of like men's and women's styles and and cater them to kids we're heading over to the studio we've just got um, an overflow e-com shoot so gonna head over there see luke see hayes jacob and the team and um just basically obviously what's going on down there to help with a little bit of styling different bits and bobs. Quite lucky that obviously um, we can still keep the show on the road with um, shoots and things like that because first lockdown we were having to do everything um, on hangers or flat lays and it probably didn't quite get the same reaction as what, what it does on an actual model despite that obviously sales are really good so can't complain. Today is the day that we um, launch our sustainable basics which to be honest has been a really really hard to actually get the quality of clothing we needed and to be sustainable we were we we're trying to move the business more in that direction and you know what i mean we initially we did everything we could where it was our, our mailing bags all went sustainable and recyclable but to get the clothing um we were really struggling with the quality for a long time and that's why rather than bring out something that we weren't 100 percent on we've kind of held off and been developing it and now we're super happy it's very core cool. It's your everyday tracks use and to be fair it could have come at a better time because everyone is at home. Right, last time. Jack Lane just taking over the baby's job. Can't get the staff these days. Oh. It's all about it. 
back to the office now just to make sure that everything's prepared, everything's set up, ready for the sustainable launch tonight. I've um, got a feeling it's going to be an amazing launch. So. Another thing we've been working really hard on is our loyalty scheme and what we really want to do this year and focus on is giving a lot more back to the customer, adding a lot more value to the product that we, that we send out, that they purchase. Um, obviously we've had a lot of support over the years and that's obviously helped us build the brand and we want to you know what I mean, keep growing and, and keep succeeding. So we've been implementing a lot of things on the loyalty scheme like exclusive products, early access to releases, when obviously the COVID situation's calmed down, we'll discuss a lot more of uh, office tours, warehouse tours, inviting people in to get their feedback on the product and really sitting down with some of our top customers and understanding why they purchase from us, what they like, what they don't like and ways that we can improve the business. So we're really working on adding that value and giving the customer the best possible service that they can get from our brand. So we're an hour into the uh, Sustainables launch. Everything went perfectly well. Uh, all product was merged on time. Uh, sales are coming through and they're, they're really, really strong for the first hour. Um, we're really, really pleased with how this one went. Obviously with COVID um, restricted in terms of what we can do from everything really, but predominantly campaign. So the campaign was shot uh, in a studio, limited models, executed perfectly and yeah, sales are coming through now and we're really happy with the first hour. We've been trying to work on sustainable stuff for quite a long time now. I'm finding it hard getting the something that was at the right price point for the customer but also with the quality there as well. It's interesting because we did a market research um, there with a lot of our customers around last year wasn't it? This time last year yeah. And um, it surprised us massively on how thoughtful our customer actually was and how it really mattered to them so it's been something we've been developing for a while and something we wanted to get right. It's very tough doing a fully recycled range versus some people are using just organic cotton and different things like that which is obviously a good start but we really wanted to, to go the full way and get it 100% recyclable. Overall buzzing with the day today, I'm really happy. Tomorrow we've got to choose some new colours. Okay guys, so that's what a day in lockdown at the Couture Club HQ looks like. So make sure you subscribe, like and comment below. Also anything you want to see on the channel, put it in the comments and we'll start filming it.